Welcome to a very exciting episode. It's not often I get to mix my two passions. I absolutely love watches, whether they be wrist watches, pocket watches, and I absolutely love the movies. And one of my favorite movies of all time is Dune. I've read all the books, I know the lore, forward, backwards, reverse, everything. And this year, Dune 2 came out, and I was, of course, very excited about it. I had no idea a certain watch was going to be released. And, well, stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Pocket Watch Time. My name is Patrick W. Before you think I've gone completely overboard and absolutely lost my mind, I've got to tell you, Dune is my favorite book, favorite movie. I really am just a super fan for the Dune franchise. Does that justify spending a lot of money on a watch somewhat based on a prop that, after seeing the movie twice, I don't even remember seeing in the movie? Probably not. But guess what? I did it anyway. So this absolutely crazy watch comes in some absolutely crazy packaging, and that's kind of half the fun. So not only did Hamilton make a pretty unique watch, but they also did a really good job packaging it and putting it into something that just kind of encapsulates the movie. So if you're a Dune fan, you know that this packaging is here to represent a thumper. And for everybody out there who has no idea what I'm talking about, it's a device in the movie that was meant to thud together to make noise because that would attract a sandworm. Okay, I know, dork alert, dork alert. But within this packaging, they did a really good job. But once you open this up, you get to see sort of the detail that they did. I'm proud of the brand for doing a good job packaging this together and making this kind of look authentic. So on the inside here, you can see some interesting little motifs and cutouts, something that's supposed to look like the Fremen language. And down here at the base, I'm not sure exactly what that is. It actually almost looks like dune sand. Maybe I'll just lie to myself and say that it's a prop from the movie itself. You'll also see in this storage box a little shout out to the store that sold me the watch. So my friend has a shop called The Watch Aficionado. He's located in South Florida. He's a dealer of several brands, particularly Hamilton, Bulova, and G-Shock. When I found out that this Dune watch was a Hamilton watch, I immediately reached out to him and said, hey, can you get me the cool one? Which brings up a small point. There's actually two of these watches. There's a digital version, which is the one that I bought, and there's an analog version, which is Dune-inspired, but still looks a little bit more like a regular watch. So I went full weird, and I got the weird one. Shout out again to the watch aficionado. Thanks for sourcing the watch and getting it shipped to me ASAP. So now that we've got the box fully unboxed and the packaging fully unboxed, it's finally time to actually unbox the watch. In a rather anticlimactic fashion, this watch actually doesn't come in this really cool box. It comes in a pretty standard shipping container. So this is the perfect opportunity to get it out of this little container so we can actually see the watch. So finally, after all that unpacking, I present to you the Ventura Edge Dune 2 watch. So let me take a quick moment to just tell you the difference between this watch and the other watch. So what really drew my attention to this watch particularly, this watch is different from any of the other Hamiltons Hamilton made that look somewhat sort of like this. Let me explain. For a really, really long time, Hamilton has had the Ventura collection. I'm not exactly sure what the relationship is, but I know at one point Elvis wore one. So this watch kind of has a little bit of a nickname called the Elvis watch. I'm sure I'll make somebody mad by saying this, but I've never really been an Elvis fan, so Elvis having this watch really doesn't mean a darn thing to me. This version of the Dune Ventura, well, it's got the same shape as the standard Elvis watch, it just has a Dune-inspired graphic, and it lights up. What I like about the Ventura Edge, which is the version that I bought, it's based, but it's completely different. Instead of the smooth edges, it has a far more tactical cut-off sides. All the angles are stealthy. It actually kind of looks like a stealth bomber. And one of the things that I've enjoyed the most about it, it's this sapphire crystal. I'm not sure I can catch the light and do this crystal justice, 
but this is a really deep faceted sapphire crystal. It almost reminds me of an old antique pocket watch crystal. And for this deep faceted crystal to have this interesting shape that this watch has, I guarantee you Hamilton goes through many a crystal before they get one that fits just right. And so now we get to the other interesting thing about this watch. This is actually a quartz watch, and it has a digital display that has a neat little trick when you press the button. Yes, it lights up. I've gotta say, this watch is pretty darn expensive, and I don't know if I can absolutely justify the cost of this watch, but it's definitely pretty cool. And amazingly, I've got one piece of very happy news for me. I've got a six and a half inch wrist. This watch is borderline humongous. I was really afraid that this watch was not gonna fit my wrist. And being a limited edition that was just released, there's no way you're gonna find this in store and be able to try it on before you buy it. So I know there's many people out there that say, oh, you gotta try it before you buy it, but sometimes you just can't. And thankfully, this thing fits really, really well. The very unique and specialized rubber strap, well, it bends and goes straight down. So thankfully, it seems the lug-to-lug -lug length for this watch really is the true wingspan for the entire watch. Because if my six and a half inch wrists can fit it, it'll probably fit just about most guys. I doubt there's lots of ladies clamoring to wear this watch, but it's probably a man's watch, not a unisex watch. But I will say while it's on the wrist, I'm pleasantly surprised by another feature. This watch is actually pretty hefty. I was kind of thinking with a quartz movement that this watch would just feel like a cheap toy. And to be fair, it really doesn't. The stainless steel case, which is DLC coated, is actually pretty hefty. And the really thick sapphire glass that I talked about before, it just looks substantial and looks expensive. So does the little parlor trick of it lighting up, does that look expensive? No, not really. But the rest of the watch does. And to give a little credit to the Hamilton company, the watch looks and feels really well made. So that's really about all I have to say about this Dune watch. It's probably the dumbest and most spontaneous purchase of a watch I've ever done. But I'm okay with that because I've got something pretty neat for the wrist and I'm not gonna see anybody walking down the street with this watch. And you know what? It might actually turn a couple heads and someone might ask me, what the heck is that on your wrist? And boy, will I have a fun story to tell them then. So it's time for you to blast me in the comments. What do you think about this watch? Do you hate it? Do you think I'm an idiot? Or do you think it's pretty cool? And also kind of important, do you like the movie Dune? So thanks for taking a peek at this new watch entering the collection. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you like the style of this channel, please think about subscribing to the channel. So since this is a watch based on the Dune movie, a movie whose mission is to somewhat broaden your mind, I'll leave you with a Dune quote. So the quote goes, Ultimately, all things are known because you want to believe you know. I've always loved that quote. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next week in a new episode. If you enjoyed this content, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Please leave a like, or maybe even a comment or a question. The YouTube algorithm loves it when you do that, and it helps the channel. And speaking of helping the channel, I've got two avenues where you can donate to the channel. You can join right here on YouTube by becoming a YouTube member, or you can follow the link in the description and join my Patreon. Thank you, I really do appreciate it.